So good morning, everyone, and happy, happy Friday. Happy Friday to everyone. It's Friday. Yay! And today is prayer day. Friday is a day that <clears throat> I encourage, where I encourage everyone to take some time to pray. To make some time, take some time, go somewhere where you are undisturbed and you are uninterrupted and talk to the Father. We have been sharing from the book of Genesis and I would like to pause, I always like to pause from the teachings and encourage you to pray and when you pray you can go back to the lessons that we have taught and we have learned from the book of Genesis and talk to the Lord about it pray about it remind God of his word that's why we're going through the book of Genesis because we are learning the word of God so that when we go to pray we can remind God of his word to us his promises to us remember his promises are yea and amen to his people so be encouraged today today is prayer day hallelujah so i usually i want to give you a scripture i'm not going to be very long today because i want to encourage you to take the time it doesn't matter what time of the day as long as it's a time where you are you have some quietness you're away from everyone all of the noise all of the hustle all of the bustle and you talk to the lord amen and so today's prayer theme is be faithful i want to encourage you to be faithful and so the scripture that I would like to read is taken from the book of Proverbs. And I love, love, love that book. That's one of my favorite books too, as well, along with the book of John. And so in the book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 20, it says, A faithful man shall abound with blessings. A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste, listen, this is wonderful, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. Think about that for a second because there's trouble there. And so Solomon knows what he's talking about. But what we're encouraging you to do is today is to be faithful, to be faithful. So many people are not faithful today. We meet them all the time. They are, they are everyday people, people that come in and out of our lives. They don't know how to be faithful if you paid them a million dollars. They don't know how to be faithful. They cannot be faithful in their hearts. They cannot be faithful to God. They cannot be faithful to anyone but themselves. And you say, what does it mean? by faithful or being faithful. <clears throat> the word faithful means loyal or steadfast. <clears throat> loyal or steadfast. And but it also means to be true to the facts. Faithful means be true to the facts. So when you are steadfast and loyal, you will reap the harvest, but you have to be true to the facts. You see, that's why Solomon gave the contrast and he said, if you make haste to be rich, you're not innocent. You're not innocent. Because when you make haste, you're going to compromise. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to do things you're not supposed to do. Or when you make haste in a relationship, you see, people think it's just about money. Sometimes somebody comes into your life and they want to make haste. You know, they want to buy you a drink. They want to buy you a dinner. And then they think, yes, let's get it on. Let's go sleep with each other. Because, hey, you know, they talk to you, you know, two times on the telephone and they want to get into your bed. Hello? This is what's going on. Nobody is faithful today. They are not steadfast and they are not consistent because he said, he that make haste to be rich won't be innocent. It's the same thing in all things. When people come in and out of your life like a whirlwind, 
And that's why I tell young people, don't be a follower. Don't let someone try to convince you to do something that they want you to do. When you do something, make sure you do it on your own what volition, your own choice. Don't be forced into doing something you don't want to do because someone wants you to do it, you know, because ultimately they get the pleasure or ultimately <clears throat> they, you know, misery likes company. And so whenever you make a decision in the previous Genesis lesson, the last Genesis lesson, I encourage you, I said, make good decisions. Because every action has a reaction. And so here I'm encouraging you through prayer time to be faithful. I mean, be true to the facts. Why live a lie? Why go to someone and lie to them? Because you want something? I could never understand how people, especially people in the church today, they use each other. How can you use each other? How can a man use a woman? It's terrible. Or a woman use a man. That's degrading. And so you have to learn to be faithful and be true to the facts. Be true to the facts. And so we see that today there is a rise in social media. And with this rise and increase in social media, in the social media platform, you see we have all kinds of people coming out. You see people hiding behind their screens to either torment or bully other people. And then you have the folks who come on the screen and they try to be someone or something that they're not. They are not loyal. They are not faithful. What? They are not being true to the facts. And so when you are a loyal person, you are someone who will be uh, consistent in who you are, you will be consistent in your work, you will be consistent in your personal life, you will be consistent in your spiritual life. Why? Because you're being true to the facts, so you will be consistent. And a faithful person who is steadfast, who is consistent and loyal, they will reap the blessing. So today I want to encourage you. Remember, a faithful man will abound. In other words, the blessing will come. The blessing is a must. The blessing is guaranteed. The blessing is sure when you are faithful. I'll even throw in one more for you. The Bible said, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. See, many times we leave that portion off. And it says, they obtain favor from the Lord. That is a blessing. The favor of the Lord is a blessing. And so he says, when you find a wife, you will obtain what favor. Why? Because when you have a wife, you have to be faithful. It means that you're faithful to that woman. Why you, you know, when you marry her and you're faithful, you're making a commitment to her. When you make her your wife, you're making a commitment to her to be faithful to her. And the Bible said, God will bless you. And so I encourage you today, be faithful, be faithful in your work, be faithful in your personal life. Be faithful in your spiritual life. Don't half step. Don't do something and complain about it. Do your work and do it with joy and give God thanks. Be faithful in your personal life. Don't go out and hurt others and don't try to, you know, judge and, and condemn others and think that you're above others. You're not above anyone. You're not above anyone. You're not better than anyone. And if you're a person that goes around and bullies somebody else and you can't take no for an answer and when someone tells you no or stop, you keep doing, doing, doing because you think that you have the power to dominate someone, stop doing that. It's wrong. Be true to the facts. So be faithful in all that you do. And the Bible said, and a faithful man is guaranteed a blessing. So today, take some time to pray, 
Talk to the Lord. Talk to him about it. He is willing, he's able, and he's waiting to hear from you. So I encourage you to play and to pray. And remember, be faithful. The blessing will come your way. The blessings will come your way. Just be faithful in what you do. Be faithful in what you have committed to do. And if you give your word, keep your word. Be faithful. If you say to somebody, I'm coming over or I'm coming to pick you up, be faithful, be steadfast, be true to the facts. Go and do it. If you say you're going to do something, do it. Be faithful. Amen. So thank you for watching. Share the video with somebody else. Let them too be blessed and be reminded to be faithful in all that they do. And as I always close, remember, go with God and continue to be a blessing because you are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you like the video, share it with somebody so that they too can be encouraged. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you.